Hello fellow closeteers, I'm Jamila and this is The Closet, your one-stop shop for everything fashion. Now we're going very Devil Wears Prada this week as we go behind the scenes at one of the UK's most successful fashion magazines. But right now it's time to go tribal. Once again, we've hunted down one of the UK's most exciting fashion tribes, just ordinary b-boers and closet fans with their own unique sense of style. So this week I'm going to be going inside the fashion world of Suffolk's very own Mod Squad. I love your style. You guys are the Mod Squad tribe. What exactly is the Mod Squad tribe? Uh, Sharp dressing, yeah. 60s influence. Yeah. Basically yeah. looking smart and clean cut. Liking the shades, by the way. The shades are always good. Yeah. Pair of sharp shoes. Okay, so you've brought me to Camden to check out some of your favourite vintage shops. So I think we should go for it. Get on it, Mod Squad me. Let's just yeah, go, let's see go. what we can do. <laughs> This is actually really, really nice, and that actually makes it more fitted, so it's more mod. I think the boys will like that. It's a shot in the dark here, but I imagine that's not very no, mod. That might be quite. That, that's a little bit close, yeah. isn't it? Is there any such thing as a casual mod? Polo tops and stuff, Levi's, 501s, whatever. I thought this was really cool, but I didn't know if this is your kind of style. Yeah, I'd say so, definitely. Military jackets are in, yeah? Yeah. Do mods wear waistcoats? Yeah. I'd say that as part of suits, definitely, yeah. Yeah? yeah. yeah? Braces? To yeah. mod or not to mod? To mod. To mod. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. I could be in the mod squad. So what are your key bits of advice for anyone trying to achieve the mod squad look? You keep it sharp, keep it simple, really. Um, yeah, slim cut stuff. Um, don't over embellish it. Don't be don't be afraid of a good suit. This is new. Is this from here? Yes, it is. So what is this? Like a polo shirt? Summer yeah. wear for mods? I think so. Yeah, something a bit more casual. Well, you're not actually the only one who's been shopping, Ruben. I've actually picked up these braces. I've done up my collar. I've lengthened my sleeves. Are you happy to? I've modified my look enough. Yeah. It's another tribal look nailed. So I don't know why, but with my new look, I kind of want to really listen to the Beatles now. I'm going to go do that. I think those boys might actually be the coolest kids on the block. Anything they don't know about 60s mod fashion, well, just isn't worth knowing. So if you want to turn yourself into a mod, then head to our Bebo profile page where you'll find all the pointers that you'll ever need. Or if you yourself are a member of a stylish fashion tribe, then tell me about it. Upload some photos. You never know, you might be flaunting your fashion with me on the closet. Boots, preferably leather with the tassels, with the tassels all over that, a really overstated pair of boots. One of those studded leather jackets. Some thigh-high leather boots, like I've wanted them from like since May. The dresses that I looked on top shop, like the big shoulder one, the black one. Black velvet boots, they were like that high in vain, so I want a pair of those. Okay, it's time to adjust your high-waisted belt and know your labuta from your mother's futa as we get the insider track on one of the coolest jobs in fashion. I give you the shopping editor of Grazia, Miss Sophie Ferguson-Jones. I'm Sophie Ferguson-Jones and I'm the shopping editor here at Grazia magazine. You let me show you around. So here we have fashion cupboard number one. This is where all the shopping pages happen. So here's fashion cupboard number two. Here at Grazia, my job involves shopping for a living, really. Fortunately, we don't get to keep any of it, so it's all off back to its homes. Um, we also meet with designers and labels, and we kind of try to build a really great relationship with them so that they come to us with exclusives and with first offs, and yeah, we get the best sneak peek. The life at Grazia is very unexpected. I never know what happens from one day to the next. I'm going out on appointments, meeting PRs, getting exclusives calling stuff in, getting it shot, 
sending it back. And I kind of tend to work on it probably about four or five pages at a time. It is fast paced, but fast paced fun. I have always loved fashion. Um, I probably started off with my obsession with shoes. I did a stint um, working at Marie Claire magazine. I was really lucky to work for American Vogue, so I guess I am kind of the devil wears Prada. I worked my way around, really lots and lots of hard work and hours sitting in a cupboard just like this. Hours and hours in taxis, dry cleaning clothes, on shoots, went with Kate Moss, Chazelle, and then came back um, to the biggest selling weekly magazine. The advice I give to anyone wanting to bag my job is lots and lots of hard work, persistence, get that work experience placement, be kind of imaginative when you're sending off your CV, read lots of magazines, apply to every magazine that you're interested in and just be willing to do absolutely everything. You have to start right at the bottom but you know, hey it worked out for me but don't try too hard because I'm not ready to give it all up yet. convinced that that's a real job. It's clearly heaven for every single fashionista out there. But if you want to know more about Sophie or life at Grazia, then have a little mosey on down to our Bebo profile page. But first of all, brace yourselves, closeteers, because there is a fantastic competition today. How would you like a year's subscription to Grazia? All you have to do is upload your review of what's hot on the high street to our page. So come on, get typing. Well, I don't know about you, but after all that excitement, I'm feeling pretty whacked. I think it's time to just sit back, put up the old Jimmy Choo's and catch some Z's. But before I do, let me tell you that next week we'll be super styling all the way to the party and flip rewinding ourselves into the closet of one of the UK's hottest urban artists. But until then, I bid you farewell. Bye.